Good morning everyone, I am the Taylorette and I have a few days of creating whatever I want to make. I really want to start with an 18th century dress. So I'm going to click on my 1700s board. I love that color, however I'm not going with coral red. So I don't like how long this is, but I do like the stomacher in the center. This one is actually perfect. I love how there's a stomacher. I love the length and how it's open like that with the trim around it. This is Bamboo, he is my color inspiration for this project. I'm going to go for the yellow but maybe not such a bright green more of a tealish blue he's a little bit um shy in front of the camera he's been really good yeah these are the colors that i'm using this here is actually it's an indian block print so this is from india i would love to say that i can draft my own patterns but the reality is i do not how to do know how to do that from scratch so i'm looking through all my patterns and I, i'm thinking i'm gonna mix some patterns so here i'm finding all of my pieces from this pattern i'm grabbing the stomacher i'm not using all the other stuff i'm gonna reshape this though because i don't like the shape of this stomacher cutting out two of these stomachers with the lining first because if i cut it out with my regular fabric first it, i might waste the nice indian block print that i have this is a trial to see if it actually will fit the length of what I'm looking for. I'll be fitting, putting it on the mannequin to see if I like the length. Okay, scrap the pattern. I'm gonna make my own. Okay, now I'm looking at different ideas because I have a completely different vision in mind for the stomacher. Completely different shape. Oh dear. Looks like I made a little too wide. I just nailed it. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I've never made a stomacher before. From what I can see online is that you want to put boning in here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. This is the sew-in boning. I don't use boning for my corsets. I like to use the correct boning for that. But when I'm using boning for my dresses, I do use the more modern plastic. A corset cannot it won't have the same structure with the cheap boning. You may or may not know this, but you actually can press out your boning. I did a short video on this a couple years ago, but it probably got lost somewhere, but you just press it out and it takes out the curve in it. And then you kind of undo it like this. Bring it out. Ooh, that was easy. The boning kind of pokes it out for you. I just realized I forgot the ties to come out the side. Darn it. I might just make do with this for now. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna try and just stitch them to the sides here. This is the first stomacher I've ever made, so no judging if you see that I'm doing something wrong because I'm shooting by the hip here. Stomacher is finished. However, it doesn't stop there. I wanna make the bodice to go around it first and then see what kind of trim I wanna do with it. Now that the stomacher is finished, I am a little bit more motivated to get the bodice all cut out. It was probably more efficient for me to cut it out all together, but sometimes people think in a different mental order. I'm using this right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a Caraco jacket, I think that's how you say it. And I want to chop it up a little bit and shorten the jacket and the stomacher will be in the middle. I have to cut it out of the outer fabric and then I have to cut two linings because I'm gonna back the fabric with another cotton to make it more sturdy because this is super light and airy. For the cutting process, I need my glasses on because I can't see without them. Oh, the smell of an Indian block print is just so amazing. Done, cutting out the bodice. So with one of the layers of the lining, I'm laying this on top of it and I'm gonna stitch all the way around the edges and it's gonna become one piece. It's ready to be stitched together. It's like a puzzle trying to figure out where everything is and where it goes to. There's a pleat in the back of this bodice and that's what I need to do first before I actually start stitching the bodice all together. Both pleats of the lining and the outside are done. You can't really see it, but there's this. It's folded in the back. And then once I have the bodice sewn together, I'll let it out and it'll kind of drape nicely. Press 
noticing these seams open. This next step is actually the fun part. This is when we start to see the shape coming together like that. So we don't want that look, right? I mean, we're going for a completely different look. So um, it needs to come open here. This is the scary part because you have to cut it. And this is the actual fabric. I probably should have done a mock-up, but I'm one of those that just can't be patient enough to do a mock-up. So we're just doing it anyway. Oh yes, I am extremely pleased with this. Uh, for right now, I am very happy with this. So I'm taking this over here and I want to mimic the same exact thing that I did on this side on the other side and how I do that is I flip this around and match the the shoulder seams like this and you can see match this seam down here match all the seams and you can see as you match them all where you need to cut pin it all the way down the edges here make sure it's completely lined up we don't want an uneven sides we want to be a mirror on both sides and then I take scissors and I cut right along the edge almost like I'm using a pattern piece well not almost I am basically reversing the pattern on the other side of the bodice yes oh yes this is exactly what I was looking for perhaps I may have to make a few adjustments but I will say as of right now this is pretty darn close to what I was aiming for actually I may have to take it in here, but other than that, I mean, hey, that's pretty good. Um, first shot, I'm not all that discouraged. And bringing the lining pieces together, and this will be the last step until we're ready to start finishing off things and making it look pretty. It is day two and the base of the bodice is finished. So we are ready for the trim. This is the fun part where it all comes together, where we can put the trim in the stomacher and along the edges. And I actually think I'm going to make a different bum roll. I have my other bum roll, but I think I want it to be a little bit bigger to give it more of an oomph around the hips. Not to kill the fun here, but I am saving the second part of this video for next week. And I will be talking about how I trimmed off the dress and how I finished the sleeves and finish the petticoat. So please subscribe to this channel so you get that update and also please like this video and see you later.